people have passed and, and appreciate what they're trying to do. What I don't understand is the Vero Beach Press Journal from my friend Larry Reisman and Russ Lemon. I emailed both of them a Sunday after Russ Lemon's uh, email. And what I don't understand there is that uh, they are so stubborn that will not listen to any good, uh, valid expert uh, uh, studies, and still use the Larry Reisman still uses the evacuation route and the scare tactic that we need this for in case of a hurricane. So, in the, in that regard, I think that it's it's kind of sad that uh, somebody is not able to to be uh, willing to listen to uh, valid uh, expert and uh, uh, scientific uh, evidence, if you will. Thank you very much. I hope you approve this recommendation. Thank you, Daniel. I'm sorry, Daniel, were you going to touch on the Business Improvement District, or was someone else going to? Terry, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Terry, Terry didn't. I, I didn't want to take any more time. I, I just didn't know which of you two, and I did want to hear an update on I that. give you a personal call. And All right. Give you a personal update. On Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Ellen Gower. I live now, I've just moved, 7435 Cypress Bend Manor, Vero Beach 32966. On the issue of the twin pairs, I just wanted to make three points on the off chance that they may have been overlooked, but since I've been here, I've heard that some people are already discussing them. It is my understanding, I didn't know this until recently, that the twin pairs were built when Route 95 was constructed and Vero Beach was the southernmost end of that highway. All Route 95 south traffic as exiting at Vero was direct, directed east on Route 60, newly divided through Vero's downtown area so that traffic could move more rapidly from 95 south to Route 1 in order to continue traveling south. It is my understand, this understanding that that change was effective in moving a large amount of traffic eastbound efficiently. Two, it is also my understanding that since that time, Route 60 West 